Uh, hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we'll talk about uh, something very important and something we basically use uh, in, our, in, in, uh, in our environment, uh, which is called a SQL and Server Alliance. Uh, alliance means like, uh, what do the alias means? So for example, uh, if you want to log into the SQL and Server, right? So what do you use? We use the instance name or SQL server name to log into the SQL server. So let me show you very quick. I'm I'm going to log into my SQL server right now, and as you can see, I pick up a SQL server instance name. As you can see, I picked up a SQL server instance name, and now if I click on connect, so I was able to connect to the SQL server. And if I just click over there, then as you can see, I can I can show you the name of my server, uh, server name. And if you select all of them, then you can see. This is my server name here, right? So I used the SQL Server physical SQL Server physical name. You know, we can say that physical name. So I used the physical name to connect to my SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. But if you have so many server, uh, you know, so many SQL Server instance in the same server, sometimes it's kind of difficult to identify those particular server. In that case, we can set up an alias. Alias means let's say let's say you have an application. There is so many ways I can give you the example, but most easiest way I can explain this that let's say you have an application called uh, let's FTCIF application name, and this particular application is connected to the uh, sequence of our instance. Uh, let's say this particular instance, uh, this instance is connected to. So imagine, uh, let me show you very good. Let's say our app's name is, let's say uh, FTCI underscore app web. And at this particular this particular application, they are connected to the this SQL server, right? So what I can do, I can create allies as far as my application name, and then I will log into my SQL server. So I will log in this SQL server, but I'm not going to using this name anymore. I will use this name to log in this SQL server. So this is the this is the very much easier way that you can identify your server and very easier way to manage as well. So let me show you how can you configure and how can you create the allies uh, in, uh, in SQL Server, right? Okay, so to configure the allies, two things you need very, very, two things you need. First, you need to find out the instance name. And second thing, you need to find out the port number. So how can you find out? We have a very easy and simple uh, script over there. I'm going to just uh, copy and paste. I'll give you this one on my, on, on my description box so you'll find out. So let's run this code. And as you can see, this is the name of my, this is the name of this app. This is the IP and this is the port number. So we can use that. We need two things. We need port number and we need sequence of our instance name. So let's find out the instance name again. Select start instance name. So we find out this our instance name and we find out port number is, let's run this code again. And you will see the port number is 1435. 1435. Let's keep them. Uh, let's save it, uh, both of them in a notepad very for uh, our reference purposes. So open a notepad very quick and uh, keep over there uh, for uh, because we need them uh, when you configure the SQL Server allies. So now you have to go to the SQL Server Configuration Manager. So as this is my SQL Server Configuration Manager, uh, click on OK. And this window will be appear. And as you can see, I have two of them. I already configured two allies over there. So let me create another allies. And this allies will be, uh, we'll create on the same SQL server called NY2. And but we will give them another name. So how can you do it? It's very easy. Right click over there, click on new allies. And then you have to give the allies name. So since I have FTCI web, I have FTCI web. So I can say FTCI. I can say FTCI and then I can say, for example, dev. Right. And next thing you need the port number. So you can see we copied the port number, right? So one foot, one foot, one four three five. This is my port number. So let me keep over there. And then we have to give the server name. Then we're going to use this particular name. We're going to use this particular name when you connect to the SQL server, but internally, in internally, we are connection will be established uh, established to this particular SQL server. So we copied our SQL server here. So uh, these are, let me go back one more time. Let me copy this and get 
the sequence of our instance name, go to the back to our uh, configuration manager. And here we're gonna keep our sequence server instance name. So let's try to understand what I have done here. I'm saying I'm gonna use this name FTC dab to connect to the SQL server. That means I will use this particular name to connect this particular server. That's all I need, all right? So everything looks fine. You need two things, as I said earlier, you need SQL server instance name and you need to port number. And I showed you how can you find out both of them. So we are good now. We're gonna click on, okay, fine. We're gonna close this session for now. We're gonna close this session for now as well. So let's try to open a new connection. And here, instead of providing the physical instance name, what you can do, we can just give a our alliance name. So FTCI, and then we're gonna do the DEB. As you can see, I was able to connect. So as you can see, I don't see my physical sequence of a name here. I can see the allies. But if I go back up in a, up in a new session and see what is this actual physical uh, physical SQL server name, then select start star, and then we can say server name. And then, as you can see, we are connected to the particular SQL server. So now we know how can we configure, uh, how can we configure and, create and create a license SQL server. Um, if you need uh, any kind of help, you can send me an email or you can give me a call and I'll try to help you. And this is the way you need to, you need to configure your uh, you need to configure your uh, SQL, you need to create and configure the SQL Server Alliance. I hope that video will help you uh, when you create a uh, SQL Server Alliance. And I hope you also understood why do you need SQL Server Alliance and how can you configure, how can you connect, how can you find out the port number, everything. Uh, you know, I showed you in this video. I hope this video will help. And thanks again for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.